Good morning to all of you. Welcome to another edition of The Word for You Today for this Friday, April the 16th. Glad you've joined us today. And we're going to start today by taking a look at Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. A great way to start our day. Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And with that in mind, let us start today in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this weekend ahead. And we thank you for the presence in our lives. We thank you for the gift of prayer, that we can offer our prayers to you and we know that you hear them. And we know that you're active in our lives. So we pray that uh, you will hear our prayers today, that the Holy Spirit will be active in leading us and guiding us as we go through the activities of this day and this weekend. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic for today is, are you worried? Pray about it. If, after praying, your emotions are still in turmoil, you know what you do? You pray more. By cultivating the discipline of frequent prayer, you will discover the ability to remain calm and quiet. As you wait before the Lord, you'll find relief from fear's grip on your spirit. Now, you might be tempted to think that your prayer was ineffective. You didn't say the right words. It wasn't a pastoral prayer. It wasn't a preachy prayer. It wasn't an Old Testament prayer. But God knows your heart and he hears your words. Or maybe you're thinking um, your prayers somehow failed because all of a sudden your anxiety is back. Perhaps it comes back as soon as you say, Amen. But just take persistent anxiety as a signal that you need more time with God. Reviewing all the details of your problem, telling Him how much it plagues you, and sometimes even admitting that you're afraid that he won't handle it soon enough. Having a deep, persistent concern for a problem isn't the same as worry. Worry is choosing to fret instead of turning it completely over to God. So if you tend to worry a lot, then pray a lot. Pray, Lord, this is your problem to fix. You take control. Let me know what you want me to do if I'm to be involved in the solution. But by leaving it with you, I'll consider it solved. At that point, discipline your mind not to worry and not to continue to seek answers or trying to find the solution. You've given that over to God. You have solved the problem by giving it to God and your major responsibility now is simply to wait for his leading. When he wants you to act, he will make it clear. And as you wait before him, he will direct your thoughts to the next step that you should take. And if there's nothing that he leads you to do, then do nothing. He will take it from there. You know, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 reminds us that love is patient. Now, I don't know about you, but I sure am glad that God is patient with me. But as we love God, are we patient with God? Love works both ways. And patience is a key element in love. So be patient and persistent in prayer. And that's the word for you today. Um, speaking of prayer, we want to encourage all of you to be praying for our confirmation class this weekend and all of our pastors as we head to Daytona for the confirmation class weekend. Among the things that they'll be doing this weekend is putting together their own personal statement of faith as well as coming up with a statement of faith for their entire class. And that's something they'll be sharing with you on Confirmation Sunday in May. And so this is a, a time where um, their faith can be molded, and we just ask that you would pray for them this weekend, uh, that God would speak to each of their hearts. Also, I um, want to remind you that um, even though we're away from you Saturday and Sunday uh, with these daily devotionals, uh, the word for you today continues for Saturday and Sunday. And so there's a uh, one-day devotional on either rule or be ruled for tomorrow. And then on Sunday, 
we start a week-long series on answering the big questions. So it's definitely one you're going to want to check out on Sunday and then listen to what uh, each of the pastors have to say throughout the week next week as we go through answering the big questions. I uh, also want to invite you to join us Sunday morning for worship. Uh, more and more of you are being vaccinated and coming back to church, and we are so glad to see you. Um, so we hope you'll join us in person, 9 or 11 on Sunday morning. But if you can't join us in person, that's okay too, because we love to know that you are online worshiping with us. And we will be continuing to have our services live online, and um, we, we are so excited for the fact that we hear from so many of you, not just in our own area, uh, but friends who have moved away but still stay connected to the Village Church. And uh, we're hearing from people from many, many different states. Uh, even our, our friend Dang, our former intern from Thailand, uh, pops in once in a while and um, lets us know uh, that he's out there with us. And so uh, we just want to encourage you, uh, continue to worship with us in whatever way is working best for you. We love you. We want you to have an incredible weekend, and we look forward to seeing you Sunday. God bless you, church. We love you.